Hello friends, welcome in OCP technology. My name is Shripal and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to start Oracle Enterprise Manager in Oracle 11 G and how to use it. Okay, let's see. First of all, you have to open your terminal, right click on the desktop and select open in terminal. Now run it. Uh, the login command of your database this one okay then enter so for the oracle enterprise manager you your database must be started and your listener must be started then you have to need to start oracle enterprise manager services okay right now here my oracle database is started also you can check like this so your database name is db11g now check the status the database is open or not is started also open in on open stage okay so now you have need to start your listener or a call listener so going on host let's see and clear the screen okay and for the oracle listener starting you have to run a command like ls nr ctl start start for start your listener stop for stop stop your listener and uh, reload for reload your listener okay now let's see start the listener sorry ls nr ctl your uh, in listener is started successfully now start the enterprise manager services em ctl start db console it is the this one is the command to start your enterprise manager on Linux machine. So, start for start your enterprise manager, stop for stop your enterprise manager services. Then run enter. Okay, it's on this HTTP path. So, you have to copy this path or right click on this path, then click on open link. Let's open it in browser window. So you see here the Firefox cannot be established the connections. Try again. Okay. When you start your listen uh, enterprise manager first time then it's screen first time like this okay then you have to click on I understand the risk then add exception get certificate confirm security exception and finally it's open in front of you you can see now write your username is like sys and the password what is your password okay and connect as sysdpa then click on login so your enterprise manager has been started successfully click here on database Okay. 
so you can see here this is the first screen of your oracle enterprise manager right like this if you want to see the performance report then click here for the performance report viewing that you have need to install adobe flash player in your machine and uh, if you want to do the something work like as a schema then click here on a schema suppose you want to create any tables view sequence index synonym sequence packages package body procedures and all that whatever you want to do so you must have to use the click on the schema tab and uh, suppose you want to create any table so click here on table and uh, uh, click on create button continue okay now giving the table name suppose i'm giving here abc and uh, in which schema in which user you want to create that table suppose i want to create that table in the scott user this one scott select it okay then if you want to give any table space and uh, you have to remaining it uh, on default table space also and uh, if you want to give any particular table space then you have to click browse here okay and then down click your first column suppose i'm giving here id column and data type of that id column number and size and uh, giving here name column and work at data type and length of the this then if you want to see the what is command running in behind of this particular action then you have to click on so secure and you can see the command okay and return and then okay see message the table is called abc has been created successfully you can see here by default in the scott schema only four tables bonus step and and this one is that table which is created by you okay so if you want to view it then click here and it's showing the all the structure of that table right and i hope you found it video very informative thank you for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much